Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to the channel. For all the new faces that are around here, thank you so much for being part of this awesome community we're building here. I'm in glorious Springfield, Massachusetts, and today we're gonna to be talking about photo and videos and how to up your game for free. Let's do this, yes. First things first, we're actually gonna stop off. What's this tattoo place called? Horseshoes and hand grenades. Horseshoes and hand grenades. We're gonna stop off and get some tattoos because you know, heck, why not? What is this place called? Botanical Gardens. We're here to shoot some awesomeness. Well, that was amazing. This place is money, 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 money. We're gonna go eat coffee, because that's important, and then we're gonna head back to the house. I'll break down how to make your photos and your cinematic footage, everything look way better for free. All right, let's go. I'm trying to film a video here, and you're all up in my space. <laughs> my house. I am turning this into my space. <laughs> right, okay, be, all right. Be gone. Yeah. Sorry about that interruption, it, it, it's just the way he is. So we were out all day shooting, taking photos, having fun, traveling across the entire city, it was awesome. Stop creeping on me! So I've got two points to up your guys' photo and video game. Tip number one, have a subject. Anytime you have a subject in your photo or video, it just elevates it a lot more. All the footage I have from today is awesome. We got some amazing shots, but it looks 10 times better when you have a subject in there. You don't have to have that person in every shot, but it kind of tells a story when you have them throughout the whole thing in different places. That's what people are drawn to. They're drawn to the story of the person. The same thing goes for photos. Some photos can be so impactful with a person in there. Again, not every photo needs a person, but if you're wanting to up it and you're trying to change things up, Try having a subject. Tip number two is shoot through stuff. I shot some great photos, but then I stepped back and I shot through something to show the difference between A and B. And in my opinion, it's so much better. It adds more character to it. Even if it's a product shot, shooting through something makes that photo so much more interesting. And the same thing goes with video. Anytime I can shoot through something, it just creates more depth, it creates more feel. Shooting through stuff will drastically change your photos and videos. It will just make it, it just gives it that depth, that feel, kind of a grit, you know what I mean? That might be a bit too much. So next time you're taking a photo or a video clip of something and you've got this awesome product, maybe this person, this subject that you're shooting, go ahead and get that shot. But then maybe step back, maybe try scooting over, shooting through something and look at the difference from A to B. Challenge yourself, have fun. Growing is what it's all about. That's it for me today, guys. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up, drop a comment below and hit that subscribe button if you have not already. I have been apparently dubbed the Iron Giant, so um, yeah, by me. By, that was mine. That was me. by that guy. Just so you know. All right, you guys are amazing. Iron Giant out. Peace.